Shalom. All praises to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah by Shem, Rakadash, the bondage of apostles and elders that rule well. Um, the great, at uh, great millstone, excuse me. <clears throat> your brother Shaman. Um, just want to bring out the quick video. Somebody put it in the message board. And uh, this is this just another testament, another example that we're in the uh, end of times. They, they got a report. Uh, so just to give you some backstory, this is the same um, weave shop where they uh, punched the black woman in the mouth. The Asian owners punched her in the mouth, kicked out the store. Now what they've done is uh, put weave up at 50% uh, off. And now you got a line full of black women lined up. And it just goes to show you, man, uh, all over YouTube, you got all these people talking about queen and sisterhood and all of this shit. When it comes down to it, I'm, I'm going to say damn near all of them. Black women have no, there's no, there's no sisterhood. There's no camaraderie, com camaraderie between them. They might, just because somebody's giving you a positive comment or they're trying to, uh, hype you up or uh, gas you, that doesn't mean that they like you and they have your best intentions at heart. But now, us, the great, the brothers of Great Millstone, we preach uh, that you're supposed to, men and women, uh, rehearse the righteous acts. For women, that means certain things. For men, that means certain things. Because when you carry yourself with a certain level of respect, and you know, I'm, this is just common sense now, People have to treat you with a certain level of respect. That's just how it is. And uh, another thing, man, as, a, as the Israelite woman, <clears throat> our women were always treated with honor unless they dishonored themselves. Then they would dishonor. You know, if they, but if they, as long as they treated themselves with honor and respect and did not abuse themselves, we treated them with respect. But now look at, look at America. Look at what everything is going to with the white man ruling. It's a, at a click of a button, you can see a, a, a naked woman. You can see her fully shame, you know, shame all out. You could click on a world star video, see a, a naked drug addict woman in the streets. You now our, our women have completely been, you know, bruised, ravaged, as, as well as the whole nation of Israel. But that's not an excuse to do wickedness. But I'm gonna let the videos uh, play, I, I digress. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's only gonna escalate from here on out, guys. It's uh, it's it's hot out here, and we got emotions all different kind of ways. We got. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me wow. let me get to the first yeah, point. Of the looks video. like the way they're doing it is they're only letting certain people, um, a certain number of people, uh, in the store, and. Uh, yeah, there's a long line. There's more. There's more people. There's more ladies out there looking for the 50 percent sale than um, protesters. So uh, basically, we're not. <laughs> they got the sign up. <laughs> If you, man, if you say if you calling them queen in 2018, you need to be destroyed, man. Point blank, period. You, your, your head is up your ass. We don't want you to stop our system. That's right. We still got to stop this system. Yeah. This is uh, counting like five protesters, and we're outnumbered. <laughs> yeah.
and this is why, <clears throat> you know, we can't we can't save all of Israel. Man, but I'm gonna get into the scriptures. You can watch the full video. It's it's just more and more out of order bullshit. And uh, you know, in my my personal life, man, I'm dealing with that shit right now, man. A lot of a lot of out of order women, even though they're not they're not ghetto like that, but it's still out of order. And uh, you know, when you try to set set things right, put things on the right path. They don't want to heed unto you, but let's see what's going to happen until, you know, women and men that don't want to heed unto the Lord. Hey, because it's going to happen. You know, we can only keep repeating it so many times it's going to happen. And you're seeing the beginning stages of it now. Yes, if you're watching people keep getting shot down, keep dying, right, keep dying in their hood, getting put on a rest in peace shirt, it's a reason for that. It's a reason for that, 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 that judgment goes out. And, you know, if, if you got to you, you have to believe in something like that, some kind of karma system, because then you could just that means that God made a world where you could just do what you want to do with no consequences. And if that's the case, why did he do the things he did in the Bible? But, hey, you got to You got to be able to think, think out uh, solutions. This is Jeremiah 11 and three and say thou unto them, thus saith the most high of Israel, cursed be the man that obeyeth not the words of this covenant which I commanded your fathers in the day that I brought them forth out of the land of Egypt from the iron furnace saying, <clears throat> obey my voice and do them according to all which I command you. So shall ye be my people and I will be your God. <clears throat> so there you go. Do the things that are commanded by the Lord. Stop being rebellious. Stop being a fucking nigga because it doesn't it even profit for you to be a nigga. Okay, when they all is said and done, that bullshit weave they're about to buy, that shit is gonna get old. They're gonna throw it away. They got to go back and buy some more, and be looking stupid standing in the same line. And hopefully next time one of them damn gooks uh, uh, smack the shit out of one of one of the next ones, <laughs> and let that keep happening, man. Because hey, just like it said, cursed be the man that obeyeth not the words of this covenant. I'm skip. I'm gonna skip down though. Um, the verse eight. Yet they obeyed not, nor inclined their ear, but walked every one in the imagination of their evil heart. Therefore, I will bring upon them all the words of this covenant which I commanded them to do, but they did not them not. And the Lord said unto me, A conspiracy is found among the men of Judah and among the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Basically, they're, they're talking against the Lord. They are turned back to the iniquities of their forefathers, which refused to hear my words, and they went after other gods to serve them. The house of Israel and the house of Judah have broken my covenant, which I have made with their fathers. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. Then shall the cities of Judah and the inhabitants of J Jerusalem go and cry unto the gods unto whom they offer incense, but they shall not save them at all in the time of their trouble. That's right. So man, basically, just like now, because everything, there's nothing new under the sun. Everything that happens now has already been done before. When that time comes where the Lord brings that wrath down upon us, and we know, he's, you know a man is not going to be able to go city to city because of the uh, martial law state that is going to occur, all of these people are going to play out their judgment. And all of this bullshit that they think that they're getting away with, that they relish in, that they delight in, right, because they have those damn demons on them, whether it be that, that hood demon or, or whatever it is, that uh, a, a lot of demons, they're going to receive all of that. All of that energy is going to come back onto you. And that's why we're telling our people to repent because you don't want to be in that proud state, that proud mindset, just like this bitch in the video that you got these dummies sitting there protesting for her. She's arguing with the dudes protesting to protect black women and calling her queen and all this bullshit just to goes to show you how out of order these damn women are. That's why we can't save all of Israel. The Lord didn't say go into the hood and preach and try to help out in every social situation, no. He said, go to the highways and byways. Uh, you know, basically, you want to you, know, you want to bring uh, meat for repentance. He gave specific orders for things to do. 
He's only dealing with elect men. Right now, you know, brothers, we say we're the hopeful elect because we hope we are those men that the Lord is already talking about. <clears throat> but uh, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just play the end of this, man, just to show you how this this dumb shit ended with these simple ass Negroes. What is this? What is that? Of those totally savages in at it. She had to take a she had to take a hit of a cigarette. But now look at this. They're about to argue with the police. Nah, that's not the point. I mean, I can't find a specific part. Hey, call law, you how about shit me? I was shy. Double honesty, Pastor Ezra's great millstone. Hey, man, two thirds of Israel is gonna be destroyed. Point blank, period. Right now, we have to suffer through. We have to suffer dealing with these niggas on a daily. You know, especially uh, if you live in the neighborhood with them or whatever. You gotta suffer through it. Just suffer these niggas. Suffer dealing with them and deal with them wisely. And fuck two thirds of Israel. Call yeah. All praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Hopefully this is edifying. Shalom.